the shooting of the plates for the what we are going to shoot uh, tomorrow. We tried two setups, one with only one Venice and a special lens called Antania. This lens called the HAL 220, which covers 220 degrees off of a single sensor. You'll get a, a real 180 degree usable configuration. And the other setup was with three Venice. Uh, with a 14 mm lens. Uh, we put this on, the, on a traveling car. So we have a shot from a car that was rolling on the highway on the Champs Elysees in Paris. The idea was to test two configurations because obviously with one camera, one lens, it's less expensive. And the three camera setup is higher quality because you have the definition of three cameras. Obviously it's more expensive and you have to have a, a bigger, bigger rig to put the three camera on it. And the post-production for three camera is longer uh, because you have to stitch three images. Um, whereas with only one camera, with the Antania lens, you just have to change the ge geometric distortion to put the, the image that looks normal on the screen. Well, what's great with the Venice is the, how quick it is to, to use. We needed to have a wide dynamic range, so with the Venice you have a very wide dynamic range. Plus, uh, as we had to shot very quickly, the fact that the Venice has a dual ISO and every step of ND filter, this is very, very interesting because you just have to tuk tuk, just two buttons, and then you can change everything that you want in terms of you know, exposure. Well, for the plates, the higher resolution of the Venice 2 uh, will be very great because when you use the Antania, we shot in full frame, in 6K, but the really important part is a very small part of the sensor, in the center of it. So obviously with the higher resolution of the Venice, this will be sharper. And as we project those plates on a very huge screen, obviously any gain in definition will be very important.